And also new at 5 o'clock, some of our local school districts are responding to that federal judge's ruling on the proviso that bans mask requirements in schools. U.S. District Judge Mary Geiger-Lewis said that that ban discriminates against children with disabilities and that the state simply cannot enforce it. News 13's Ashley Hendricks learned more about what some local school districts plan to, new, to do next on this. Ashley. Yeah, well, for right now, Bob, Megan, school districts on the Grand Strand and in the PD will continue their current policies. However, Horry County Schools District says it's seeking legal guidance in the matter. In a statement today, Chairman Ken Richardson says the ruling will be discussed in the next meeting. Dillon County School District 4 and Florence County School District 2 tells us they're taking a wait and see approach. No official word from Florence won schools, but board member Alexis Pipkins says wearing the mask should not be politicized. The health and well-being of our students should always be foremost as well as staff. And that proviso, I just draw into question why would the um why the members of the General Assembly did that. And I think that should have been left that really we should be encouraging the protection of all students. And discussions on this ruling are expected to happen across our region at upcoming school board meetings. So we may not see changes for a few days. Count on us to keep you updated. Bob.